You're listening to KPFT Houston HD1 90.1 in the dial. If you're listening down in Galveston, pick us up at 89.5. Our friends up in East Texas from Huntsville and beyond, 91.9. You're listening to Songwriter Studio. I'm your host, Tom Tranchilla. We've got a couple of brand new releases we'll be featuring on this evening's show. First, Miles and Mafali, Be Brave. And this is going to be featuring Catherine Miles and Jay Mafali. Excellent new album, Be Brave by them. After that, we're going to be pulling out some tracks from the brand new album from Van Platting, Orange Blossom Child. Just an excellent release. Big thanks to Adam Dawson for sending us these new releases. And certainly Lloyd Daniel behind the controls doing what he does every week. Thank you so much, Lloyd, for all you do here at Songbrush Studios. Let's introduce Catherine Miles and Jay Mafali with the brand new album, Be Brave. Thank you, folks, for uh, joining the show this evening. Thanks for having us. Hey, Tom, how are you? Doing well. I'm not sure if we met last year at Swarfa. We talked about it the other day on the telephone, but you were there last year, and you will be there this year, that being Southwest Regional Folk Alliance right here in Austin, and you will be featuring Be Brave. I'm sure you're going to be giving out plenty of samples of this new record. And by the way, just stellar record. When I listened to it, track after track were equally as good, and you did a superb job of arranging, writing, lyrics. And I've got to say, Catherine, your vocals are off the chart. You just uh, are an excellent singer. And Jay, your guitar work and arranging is just superb. Wow, thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. That means a lot. We really appreciate that. Thank you. You know, I was reading some of your wins and near wins, three-time Kerrville New Folk finalists, most wanted emerging artists, Falcon Ridge Folk Festival, great festival, South Florida Folk Festival Award, the Vic Heyman Award, the uh, Mid-Atlantic Song Contest Honorable Mention and Braver Angel Song Contest Honorable Mention, official showcases, listen to this, Swarfa, Nerfa, Surfa and Farm. These are all the regional folk alliances, and you've done official showcases at all of them. If that's not saying enough, the new album is stellar. That's <laughs> kind. Well, this has been a great interview, Tom. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, go, going through the new album, you really did a great job of breaking up the tempos and the melodies. And it's just, uh, you did an excellent job of selecting tracks and in the right places. Let's talk a little bit about where did you record the record? Oh, thanks. Um, I'll, I'll take this one. We actually have our own recording studio here in New York. So let's see the vocals, guitars, keyboards, and some ancillary things were recorded here with us. And then we had friends of ours who are guest musicians. Fantastic musicians. Uh, on the record. So they have the ability to record themselves and send us those tracks. And uh, that was Jason Raflack playing upright bass, uh, Brad Yoder playing the saxophone and glockenspiel. Cool. Um, and uh, Eric Puente. And Eric, we actually went to Eric Puente's studio and recorded the drums all together. There. Uh, there. So we kind of combined those elements. Um, and then the whole record was mixed by Phil Henry in Rutland, Vermont. Uh, he's another artist you guys might be familiar with. He's actually got an album out right now himself. We loved being able to step aside from, from Jay does a lot of mixing here for, for us and for other artists, but we were, we were really happy to be able to step aside, bring Phil in who we have great friendship and trust with. Um, and he let us be artist and not mix engineers for that. So his, his help in that department was priceless. You know, I want to back up just a little bit. You mentioned an instrument I've only saw on two or three of the records that I've reviewed over the past 20 years, and that is the glockenspiel. <laughs> I noticed you, you paused a little bit when you said that. I love saying that word. Why don't you say it again for us? I, you know, it's funny because I wanted to make sure I wasn't mispronouncing it. That's why you caught the little pop. With somebody like yourself who shares an unusual to pronounce last name, I want to make sure I get pronunciations correct. Say it three uh, times fast. Glockenspiel. 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 <laughs> and for your listeners who, who that sounds like a crazy, bizarre instrument, it's not. It's a tiny little xylophone. Um, and it makes those sort of almost like uh, kid toy chimes. 
uh, and it's been featured on a few of the songs. Really, really tastefully, tastefully done. Tastefully, yeah. Uh, by Brad Yoder. Just beautiful stuff. It's basically a high-pitched xylophone. That is correct. Yeah. Let's talk about track number one. I'm so excited about this record. And track number one, let's talk about the title. It's March, and it sort of has a double meaning here. And why don't you explain that to the listening audience? Sure, I think I'll grab that one. The double meaning in the song, it takes the form of a girl's name, but it has the underlying, we, we tried to imbue it with the underlying um, meanings of of physically a, a march you know the more many marches that have that have happened um especially in recent years um but really over time in terms of women's place in society let's put it that way in a big general term but also the idea of having to move forward through life despite what uh your personal life and what the larger world throws at you and you actually used sort of a, a military march tempo in this track, which catches the listener's ear immediately. And I'm sure Jay and your arranging had something to do with that. Go ahead and explain. Uh, honestly, we we gave instructions to our guest musicians, but minimal instructions. Um, and they had had some rough drafts of the songs. So when, when Catherine and I went in uh, to the recording studio with Eric, to do his drum parts, which, by the way, we that's, had, that's you, an interesting note. You so had you did that first. Yeah, you had mentioned the Falcon Ridge Folk Festival. We actually drove home from the Falcon Ridge Folk Festival a few years ago, stopped off at Eric's house with the guitar, uh, and went directly to his studio to record the drums for the whole album in one day. And they were um, done first. We did rough. We, we were in the same room with Eric, Catherine on a microphone, you know, far in the corner away from Eric and me on a, on a guitar that you can't hear on this track, on the drum tracks. And we played with him um, and we tried out a bunch of different things and, and he started doing that rhythm where we're like, that's the one. Yeah. Uh, and so from there, we built other stuff on top of the track and then we ended up re-recording all of the vocals and guitars and things last on this record, which is a little bit of a departure for us. We let everybody sort of fill in all their parts, and then we came back and did final recordings of our parts. Let's listen to this track right now. The brand new album, Be Brave, Miles and Mafali. And again, this is the opening track, March. <laughs> of name is that for a girl March would she choose it for herself is it a blessing or a burden that she carries through this world March it's a fitting description how she gets through her day left foot right foot left foot right foot gotta keep moving Gotta keep moving March In a field in Ohio A little girl stands and sways And that's March With the turbines and the pipeline And the crosses by the side of the highway It's everything she knows While the barns are Falling down slow Left foot, right foot Left foot, right foot Gotta keep moving Gotta keep moving She is a plain Jane With a name tag In a shopping mall She's just a painted pony With a pinch or a whistle no name at all A land of sticks and stones A land of broken homes A land of endless greed A land of Maple Leaf Reality TV March Closes her eyes Thinks back to when she was young March 
feels the sting of the needle Hears the buzzing of the gun She always took the blame Carried her weight of shame She almost quit the game March She opens up her eyes She's ready to begin She wrote it on her skin Left foot, right foot Left foot, right foot Gotta keep moving Gotta keep moving Left foot, right foot Left foot, right foot Gotta keep moving Gotta keep moving Gotta keep moving Gotta keep moving Catherine Miles, Jay Mafali, brand new album, Be Brave, the title, excuse me, opening track, March. What a great tempo, and I think you guys nailed it with the whole marching band tempo there. It really fits the song, and uh, okay, whose idea was that? <laughs> <laughs> I think what I was trying to say before was, yeah, we gave, we gave the drummer some basic guidance on that kind of idea, and then said, you know, really just dig into it, have fun with it come up with what you want for it. Uh, we there. wanted something that was a little a little bit marching band, a little bit military. But also groovy. But like also a kind groovy. of a groove, you know? Yeah. So Eric Puente on the drums for that. Um, that's me on the guitar. Two thumbs up. Love the track. Let's talk about your current touring. Actually, you tour both as a duo as well as with Carol Ann. Is it Sola Bello and Karen Oliver? Yeah. Yeah. Correct. That's right. And Karen's been our guest on Songwriter Studio, and we will be seeing her at uh, South Coast Regional Folk Alliance. That'll be this weekend. And uh, by the time this show airs, it will be the last day of Swarfa. So <laughs> those folks who have made Swarfa can probably catch this show when it airs this Sunday. Let's talk about as touring, when you tour as a four-piece, do you share in the songs and share in the songwriters as far as presenting the songs live? So we have sort of cut down. We don't tour with no fuss really as much as we used to because we live in very different parts of the country now. Karen's out in uh, Fort Worth. So it's a little harder for us to all make our schedules work together since we do our solo work as well. Um, but when we play as a four piece, we have the songwriting of the three songwriting entities. So Karen is a writer. Carol Ann has a, is a writer and performer in her own right. And uh, Jay and I. So we split up the songs between the three of us. We play all together as a band but we play each other's songs. So that's kind of fun in its own way. We get to play, uh, I guess we say, in each other's sandboxes or song boxes for a little while to fill out the sound. Understood, understood. You share in the, in the writing. And I imagine that's very helpful with the listening audience. That way they get a little variety. Yes, yeah. And what we do with each, when we when say they play on one of our songs, it's different than when we do it by ourselves because different people are picking up the bass or the guitar or the uke or shakers or you know different different instruments. So it has a different sound than when we do it ourselves because there's also layers of harmony that aren't necessarily there the same way when we do it ourselves. Understood. Yeah. Let's talk about track number two, a brand new album, Be Brave. And uh, one of the things that caught my ear right away was the great bass playing by Jason. Talk a little bit about that. This house. Jason, so uh, we had asked Jason to play bass. He had joined us uh, on some showcase opportunities when we were at one of these uh, Folk Alliance conferences, uh, he and Brad. And we just loved playing with them. And we said, guys, when we record a record, we want you on it. Uh, and so Jason is playing the bass on this beautifully. And we, we basically instructed Jason, don't be safe. Don't make safe choices. I know that you probably want to stay out of the way of the singer and the song and all of those things that you would normally do as a bass player. But you have permission and, in fact, are encouraged to play as wildly as you want to. And we can always <laughs> tame it down and, and pull back. Do what, like you're in, do what you're inspired to do. He, uh, in, instead of what you think we want to hear. And he did just that. Yeah, this is a great track. And uh, 
well-placed at number two right after March and right before we're going to be featuring Ocean next. And this is just a superb song. Before that, we are going to listen to This House right now off the brand new album, Be Brave, Catherine Miles, Jay Mafali. There's a hole in the wall right behind the dresser. There's a hole in the wall beneath the kitchen sink. There are holes in the walls of every single room inside this house. I scream and I shout every time that I am angry. I cry and I wail every time that I get hurt. I steam and I vent all of my frustrations into every single hole inside this house. This is the house that I was born in, the house where I was raised, the house I live my life in. Every single hour of every day. I was told I was useless and ungrateful All the pain and the sadness turned to anger and self-doubt A foundation built to last beneath my sturdy prison Though I struggled, I just could not let me out But the rooms in this house started getting smaller The walls bulged and swelled, there was no room left to breathe I pulled all the shades so I wouldn't scare the neighbors Would I die before I found the strength to leave? This is the house that I was born in The house where I was raised The house I lived my life in Every single hour of every day There's a house you will find All across this country There's a house you will find From sea to shining sea In every shape and every size From mansions to apartments You'll find lost but hopeful children Just like me No one else could save me to decide I broke the windows and the doors and pushed the shards aside no one else could save me I had to make a choice I chose to let the light in I chose to let the light out I chose to raise my voice raise my voice this is the house that I was born in the house where I was raised the house I live Featuring the soaring vocals of Catherine Miles, great track, This House, of the brand new album, Be Brave, Miles and Mafali. Excellent track. Thanks. Thanks. We had, um, uh, she won't say it herself, so I'll say it for her. Yeah, she does have a pretty amazing <laughs> voice. <laughs> May I quote Adam Dawson, Catherine's voice, resonant, expressive, and a powerhouse. <laughs> I think she showed it in that track that the notes you were hitting were just stellar. You know, this arrangement was so different and uh, just really hit the mark. You placed everything right where it needed to be placed. And I love how the we talked earlier about Jason. Pronounce his last name for me. Is it Rafalik? Rafalak. Rafalak. He, he's so tasty on that upright bass. And it was a great way to begin the song and then the slow build. It's funny. Most times when, when we're recording, we'll do ours, our parts first and we'll get that basic and then we'll bring in other performers. But for this album, we started that before with Eric Puente and the drums. We had the drums finals recorded first. Eric gave us a lot of tracks and then we were able to comp those tracks down to what we really wanted. So we let him just play and give us so much to work with and then we were able to comp that down then we passed that on to jason so the drums and the bass that rhythm section were formed and then jason gave us 
like we have said before, we let him play, we gave him guidelines, but we let him just do what he was inspired to do. And then we worked to narrow down what he'd given us to comp that down. So then we had that rhythm section, that drums and bass to really send out for more like the frosting um, to have Paul Silverman do the keyboard work that he did for us to have Brad Yoder do the Glock and Glockenspiel and um, and uh, sax saxophone work that he did for us to layer those pieces and the we let them play as well and give us what they were inspired to do artistically, not just what we'd expect. And then uh, and then we're we're able to comp down what they gave us to really make a record that's a mix of what what they are capable of as friends and incredible musicians for us to then lay our parts on top of. It was a different experience and we're really so happy with the result. The new album, Be Brave, you will be featuring it this weekend at Southwest Regional Folk Alliance. Hopefully you will be carrying plenty of hard copies. There's typically six to eight disc jockeys from around the country and a lot, several in Texas. And I hope you've got these hard copies to deliver to them because we, we still prefer hard copies. So <laughs> we definitely will have them with us. Yeah. Now, is this when's the official release date? I believe it's this weekend, is it not? It does. For, for your uh, audience members who uh, listen to streaming services, it's going to hit all of the streaming platforms on September 29th. Uh, so when when they hear this, um, it should be available. It should be available, right? yeah. Um, and of course, if you go to milesmafali.com, the record is available to listen to samples and to uh, purchase downloads if your audience is interested in that. Agreed. And hopefully when you do your live shows, you offer the hard copies. We do indeed. For us old timers, it's still like to read liner notes, right? <laughs> oh, I'm I'm with you. I'm with you on that. We don't know how many more hard CDs we're going to get to do in the future, so we made sure that this was a fully designed contains uh, all. There's a booklet with all the lyrics and all of the credits and everything. Yeah. So we went we went full tilt on this uh, CD. CD. Speaking of the hard copy, I can't imagine in the future these completely going away because you've still got those music nerds out there like myself who want to read all this, uh, want to read the lyrics, want to read the, who did the engineering, where was it recorded? And these things are important to a lot of people. And I think when I first started buying record albums, I'm not going to say how many years ago, that's the first thing I did was open those, especially the the opening uh, vinyl album jackets where you could actually open them and read all the details. Yes, I agree. I agree. It's, it, what, it makes it special. It, it makes it a piece of art. I think. That's correct. Let's jump into track three. This is probably my favorite track on the record. For one reason, just the slow build of the song. Now, I did not see cello in the credits, <laughs> but it sounds like a cello in the background as well as playing the bass. Can you talk a little bit about the cello tone and was it or was it not a cello playing in the back? So, great, <laughs> great question. Not to make this sound like the Jason Raffle. <laughs> right. However, no your cello. Your uh, and by the way, your listeners might actually know his work already from his his band Buffalo Rose. Um, but uh, but we what we had asked Jason to do was to give us some bowed bass parts as well. So he is bowing his bass like a cello. Um, he did tell us that he doesn't do a lot of bowing naturally, so he's just going to send us a bunch of stuff, and we can pick and choose what we want. And then I think we ended up using almost everything he sent us, <laughs> just in a whole bunch of. <laughs> actually a whole string section layers um, of bass that's but it's, been built up by, but it's all bass yeah no cello it sure sounds like cello and what a great uh decision to add this to the song and you know it starts out very slow and melodic and it has this very tasteful build through it and i don't think it would have the feel or the sound had it not been for bringing in these layered strings so let's listen to that track right now i love this particular song it's uh, the title is ocean off the brand new album be brave this is Catherine miles and jay mafali time. 
alive in my dreams. You were a mystery that I'll never solve. I don't know how to live with that. I close my eyes. I am far out on the water. All these questions that I have carried, I cast over the waves. I let them go to slowly fade beneath the surface. Time, you are an ocean. Please swallow all this pain. I can't say I was ready. All I know is I was unprepared. Were you an answered prayer, or is that desperation? I don't know. How do I live with that? I close my eyes. I am far out on the water. All these questions that I have carried, I cast over the waves. I let them go. A fleeting glimpse. You were both hope and doubt. And now there's nothing. I don't know how to live with that. I have to learn how to live with that. I close my. Questions that I have carried, I let them go to slowly fade beneath the surface. Time you are an ocean. Time. Catherine Miles, Jay Mafali. What a great song. You slap headphones on, listen to this track from start to finish, and uh, it's a true sense of calm. You did such a stellar job of building, building, and falling off at the end to bring it back down to this very, very calm feeling again. Whose ever decision was to set the arrangement on this this is genius. I love this song. It's my favorite song on the record and my compliments. Wow. Thank, thank you, you so much. You. We work together to build the arrangements, Jay and I. And to have to have you recognize that, to have people get it for lack of a, you know, in quotes, get it, what we're going for, it means it means the world. Thank you. The acoustic guitar strumming in this, I'm assuming this is Jay. Is that correct? You are correct, Tom. It just, 
it drives the song, and it's so simple but so beautiful. The uh, the strumming pattern you were using just puts the whole song together. The way you brought the strings in and around the, the acoustic guitar was just genius. I just love this track. Thank you. Thank you. We did want it. We wanted a, there's sort of a feeling of water and the motion of water and just feel like you underneath know, it being yeah, at times underwater even. Yeah. So that's kind of what drove us with this. You were talking about the layering earlier. This is a, uh, a technique that would not be possible had it not be for this, the modern software technologies that are in use. You know, 40, 50 years ago, they couldn't do this. Yeah. And now you can just literally ship these tracks over an email uh, to the uh, artist or, or side people that you want included in the track. And, and voila, you just have this these wonderful arrangements that can be put together. That's absolutely true. It's, it's, it's funny. For us, we are fortunate to have a little home studio. And for Jay to be uh, an excellent... Um, an excellent engineer oh, in, thank you. in his own right, because Jason started sending us tracks and us a bunch of different tracks, like a whole whole slew of tracks. And because Jay has the skill and we have the gear here to do it, gear that is only available now, you're right, years ago we weren't able to do this. Jay was able to pluck, we were able to listen to everything he sent us and pluck pieces, pluck this, pluck that, put things in a different in the order that we that we that achieved the goal we were looking for, and it, it that is true, you know. For there's pros and cons to studio technology now, <laughs> um, but that's definitely one of the strengths of it to be able to achieve a result that you might not have been able to achieve easily. I don't know if you had memos of you know recommended air tracks for FM radio or XM for that matter, but I would highly, highly recommend this song. I think it could be a big hit, especially, uh, like I said, on the FM XM radio stations. This is just a wonderful, wonderful track. If you're just tuning in, Catherine Miles, Jay Mafali, our guests on Songwriter Studio, and we are running a little tight on time, so uh, I think we want to skip up to Rubber Band, the uh, track, I want to get this on the show just because of, we talked about this the other day, right in the middle of the song, you throw Peter Gunn, little nod to Peter Gunn in the song, and it just, it, it's not only surprising, but great placement. Why don't you talk a little bit about that? It's funny, the song we had, we'd been working on, and something wasn't quite, we just weren't jiving with each other. We weren't, it wasn't clicking for Jay and I together as we played through it. And so we started talking about it and I said, I just, I, 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 in this song, I'm trying to evoke Suzanne Vega, one of my earliest influences, one of several, but one of my earliest influences. And Jay said, really? I was trying to invoke Henry Mancini. <laughs> oh. Uh, so, for better or worse, we put those two influences together, yeah, right. and now you have this right. song. If Suzanne Vega and Henry Mancini had a baby, it would be this song. <laughs> Listen, while we're on that Suzanne Vega subject, I'd made a note early on in reviewing the album that in, at times your voice is very similar, I think, to Alanis Morissette. And I don't know if you've heard that before, but there's... There's tinges of an influence there that uh, maybe you're not even aware of, but you know, I, I. That's that's the first I've heard that. That's cool. Tom, I'm just writing this. I'm adding this to the list. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just about out of time, folks. We are going to close out this portion of the show with Rubber Band. We just discussed it. I love this track. Matter of fact, I'd mentioned it early on in the show. I love this whole album. The new album is Be Brave. Why don't you let the listening audience know where they can order not only a copy of this, but some of your other works. And go ahead. The uh, microphone is yours. Well, we definitely want you to go to milesandmafali.com. That's M-I-L-E-S-A-N-D-M-A-F-A-L-E.com. Uh, you can you can purchase, download, listen to all kinds of things there, and of course, uh, you know, go go to your favorite social media site, and you can friend us uh, individually or together there, yes. and you'll learn all kinds of stuff. 
Thank you so much for being our guest. It's been a real pleasure. I will see you at Southwest Regional Folk Alliance. And uh, I do urge you to pass as many copies of Be Brave to anyone that will accept it because this is definitely one of the better albums that will be floating around at the conference. And once again, thank you so much for being our guest here in Songwriter Studio. If the listening audience would like what they hear, go back to the archives if you missed it. It'll be posted on the archives for 14 days. Scroll down to 7 p.m. Songwriter Studio. You can listen to the show again. And we will see you folks this weekend. Catherine and Jay, thanks again for being our guests on Songwriter Studio. Um, thank you so much for your kind words. It means the world to us. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll close this portion of the show out with Rubber Band. This is Catherine Miles and Jay Mafali. The trajectory of the rubber band was apparent. Time slowed to a crawl if it moved at all while we watched that flight. What was he thinking? What was he thinking? We all prayed and waited. His marbles. That kid was twice his size with stone cold eyes and facial hair. What was he thinking? What was he thinking? We all prayed and waited. around time to stand our ground that kid was junkyard me secretly we wished we'd done it took that perfect aim that kid cried out in pain as justice stung his neck what was he thinking? What was he thinking? We all prayed and waited. Slowly he turned to face us. Imagine his surprise when all our steely eyes were trained. Big thanks to Miles and Mafali for their interview with their brand spanking new album, and it was just excellent. We will see them at Southwest Regional Folk Alliance. Next artist we have lined up this evening on Songwriter's Studio is Van Platting. Brand new album, Orange Blossom Child. She's a Florida singer-songwriter from Lakeland area and has a stellar new record out, Orange Blossom Child. Big thanks to Adam for sending us this new release. She did the uh, most of the recording in her home studio, it looks like. Stellar job. And she has got so many guest artists in here. She's got the damn quails. Elizabeth Cook, Restless Kelly, 
the uh, list goes on and on of the people she brought in for this record. It truly is a uh, co-op record with plenty of guest artists. I want to start out with the first track off the record, which happens to be the title track, Orange Blossom Child. This is brand new music from Van Platting. Orange Blossom Child, the title track, opening track off the brand new album featuring some really tasty keys from Aaron Marsh on that. Reminds me a little bit of The Pretenders. It's an excellent new album. Let's jump into track number two. This one features the damn quails doing backup. The name of this track, They're Gonna Kill You Anyway. Brand new music from Van Platting. Hands 
They're going to kill you anyway, featuring the damn quails. I would like to point out Van's excellent fiddle playing in that. She is a multi-instrumentalist, great guitar player, violin player, piano player. She's the whole package. This is a Americana country record, little tinges of a little bluegrass in there. Just a superb songwriter, singer, and instrumentalist. And she brought in a lot of her friends on this particular record, including this next track we've got ready to boot up, The Heron. This one actually features Elizabeth Cook. Those of you who listen to XM Radio, Elizabeth Cook has her uh, uh, DJ spot on one of the country stations there on XM. This one's got some excellent pedal steel also on it. And let me check to see who does the uh, pedal steel on this. It looks like the pedal steel work is from uh, CJ Mask. Great work. Let's listen to the track number three off the brand new album, Orange Blossom Child. This is Van Platting. in the heat The mighty heron soars across the lines of gold and blue Close your eyes Let your hands keep turned Let the sky keeps winging me Take me back to the cold spring water Flowers on the highway An engineer's daughter Alligator snack The cod bird sings Fiddle on that steel banjo strings We sang safe at home on the Swanee River Ranked time in with an Alabama quiver Long hot days with the bluegrass band Coming up young in the Seminole's land and Ghosts are always with me And I 
hope they never leave Their little white house in the oak trees And a band that don't ever sleep I fill my arms with highway flowers My heart burst into song I picked up my fiddle Standing in the middle I learned to play along Take me back to the cold spring water Flowers on the highway An engineer's daughter Alligator snap The kite bird sings Fiddle on death Steel banjo strings We sang safe at home On the Swanee River Rack tied in With an Alabama quiver Long hot days With the bluegrass band Coming up young In the Seminole's land Decades now, trying to see what I've been missing. Fit my bones into a mission. So I rode along the A1A, looking for a hand to come my way. A billboard I could stand on. A rock these boots could dance on. Take me back to the cold spring water. Flowers on the highway, an engineer's daughter. Alligator snap, the kite bird sings. Fiddle on deck, steel banjo strings. We sang safe at home on the Swanee River. Rat time in with an Alabama quiver. Long hot days with the bluegrass band. Coming up young in the Seminoles land. Take me back to the cold spring water. Flowers on the highway, an engineer's daughter. Alligator snap, the cop bird sings. Fiddle on deck, steel banjo strings. We sang safe at home on the Swanee River. Rat time in with an Alabama quiver. Long hot days with the bluegrass. Young in the Seminole's land The Heron, great track off the brand new album by Van Platting, Orange Blossom Child. Florida singer-songwriter and multi-instrumentalist, just a superb new album. Check out Van Platting, that's V-A-N-P-L-A-T-I-N-G. Thank you for being our guest on the show today, Catherine Miles and Jay Mafali. And big thanks to Adam Dawson for sending this superb album Van Platting, Orange Blossom Child. And to close out, we're going to go ahead and play track four off the brand new album, Orange Blossom Child. This is The Hard Way, featuring Reckless Kelly. Big thanks to Lloyd Daniel for recording today's show in the Songbrush Studios. Please stick around. Up next, Irish Airs. I'm Tom Tranchilla. See you next week on Songwriter's Studio. Sign the other day said, Say your prayers and you'll be safe. I wonder who they're praying to. Mm-hmm. We've given up on peace on earth, fill the palaces of dirt. I wonder what these bones are worth. My guitar is getting heavy
captured fearlessness and put away my pride. I walk through every unlocked door in hopes I stay alive. The guys are in a narrow, but my road's twisted up. My guitar. Hard.